In December 2013, the Spanish company Voctro Labs released their two newest Vocaloids, Mica and Ona, to a very excited and appreciative audience. I released my video detailing their release in February earlier this year. Unfortunately, many of the things I said in that video turned out to be incorrect. I made some assumptions based on the best information we had at the time, and I made three critical errors which I will be rectifying in this video. If you haven't watched my original Mica and Ona video, please click the link here to view it, but make sure to come back to this video when you're done, so that you will have the full story. As for the errors to correct, they all revolve around a particular theme, but there were three major ones. In my earlier video, I said that Micah was given all of her extra phonemes in her expanded voice bank to enable her to sing in many other Romance languages, such as Portuguese. But the truth is that Micah's expanded voice bank was created specifically to enable her to sing in Catalan. That those extra phonemes also enable her to sing fairly well in other languages is mostly a coincidence. So Micah wasn't specifically designed to sing in those other languages, at least not initially, but her expanded voice bank is still very impressive and people have tried using it to sing in languages such as Ukrainian and Tagalog. My second mistake was the big one, and that was about the relationship between Micah and Ona. I initially said that Micah and Ona were separate vocaloids with separate voice banks because that's what I thought they were. That's what everyone thought. But the truth is that while Micah and Ona are two different characters, they share the same voice bank. Ona was created to be the Catalonian representative for the voice bank, while Micah is the Spanish avatar. This is a first for the Vocaloid franchise, as it's not just that Micah and Ona share the same voice provider, who still remains anonymous. Rin and Len share their voice provider, but in their case they have two different voice banks which were recorded separately. Micah and Ona used the exact same voice bank. Why did Voctor Labs create two avatars for the same voice bank? It has to do with the significant difference in culture between Catalonia and the rest of Spain. And since Voctor Labs has its HQ in Barcelona, Catalonia's capital city, they are keenly aware of that difference. Barcelona is actually the birthplace of Vocaloid, so there is a deep history between Catalan speakers and the Vocaloid software. The creation of Ona may have been an affirmation of that relationship. What was my third mistake? Since Micah and Ona used the same voice bank, that means that Ona isn't an entirely private Vocaloid anymore. Kinda. Voctor Labs could potentially limit how producers can use Ona's character name and design, but anyone who has Micah sing in Catalan is essentially using Ona, at least if they want to think about it that way. Now that we're past all those corrections, it's clear that Micah has had a good year. Voctor Labs held a contest from February through May for producers to create original songs featuring Micah, and it had a great turnout with over 50 songs being submitted. Several songs were in languages other than Spanish, as Voctor Labs welcomed submissions in any language. Micah's voice is strong and flexible, with more breath samples than any other Vocaloid, and she has a large fan base. But it seems that after the end of the contest, she began to leave the spotlight, as she isn't trending nearly as well as she did at her release. Her promise of a worldly voice that could sing in many different languages was not overstated, but perhaps her Spanish accent made it difficult for listeners of other languages, like Italian, to identify with her. Or it may be a problem with Vocaloid recognition in those regions. There are Vocaloid fans everywhere, but that doesn't mean there are enough musicians in those languages or cultures that are aware or appreciative of Vocaloid. What's most important for Micah, of course, is her reception in the Spanish-speaking world, and she has definitely been well-received there as she is the most popular Spanish Vocaloid. Voctor Labs held a short song contest for Bruno and Clara through September of this year to bolster their popularity and the contest was held in association with several Western Vocaloid communities, including Vocaloid.cl, which is a Vocaloid news site and community based in Chile. I don't speak Spanish, but it seems to be a well-run site, and it has a What is Vocaloid section that you can point your Spanish-speaking friends to. Also, Micah is on sale until January 10th, so now is the perfect time to get her. 
both her download version and her box version are on sale for 69 and 99 euros respectively. The confirmation that Micah and Ona share a voice bank was made back in May, so for this anniversary video I was expecting to find songs made for Ona, or at least more Catalan songs with Micah, but I was disappointed to find very few of them. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised since Micah doesn't exactly have a Catalan voice bank and Ona wasn't advertised as a product available to the public. But I didn't say very much about Ona specifically in my earlier video, so I'll give some more details about her now. The word Ona means wave in Catalan, which may explain why the back of her shirt sports a waveform image. And her character design was based on the artistic works of Antoni Gaudi, a renowned Catalonian architect and designer who was famous for his post-Gothic modernist style as well as his mastery of stained glass and geometric shapes. His most famous contribution is the Sagrada Familia, which is the most visited monument in all of Spain despite its construction, which began in 1883, still being unfinished. Catalonians are very proud of their unique culture and history, and they consider themselves to be as much a part of Spain as the average Brit considers himself a European. Ona was a Vocaloid created by Catalonians for Catalonians, and yet it's still not clear why she was not given her own voice bank, which would have given Catalonians a Vocaloid to adopt as their own. Ona did participate in a virtual concert alongside Bruno and Clara in September 2013, a few months before Micah went on sale, but I don't think she's made a public appearance at all in 2014. I can't find many songs with her, or even much fan art, which is a shame because Ona's design is unique in the franchise. Perhaps Voctro Labs is finding more resistance to the Vocaloid concept than they expected among Catalonian musicians, so she's not gaining traction, or it may simply be because Catalan is a rare language in comparison to the other languages in the franchise. In the end, the simplest explanation may be the right one. It may just not make economic sense at the moment to make a dedicated Catalan voice bank. Whatever the case may be, Micah and Ona have a great voice bank and they definitely have made an impact on the Spanish-speaking vocal community.
calat a quarts de quatre a la plaça Felip Neri on als carrers hi aboca en l'encanteri Asseguda la font sota l'ombra dels arbres ja m'esperaves amb un vestit de flors que avui pels carrers de Barcelona n'he vist maldestres traficants canviar llibres per roses de tant en tant Era Barcelona com, com, com mig primavera no floreix per tothom com, com, s'espera Era Barcelona com, com, com mig primavera no floreix per tothom com, com Secretamente eu guardei meus sentimentos E agora no seu lado eu 